Meanwhile, another damning scandal has come to light. It involves the Catholic Church, and it's the kind of scandal they've always looked to brush under the carpet. Child abuse. This one is from Poland's Catholic Church. A report says that late Pope John Paul II knew about cases of child abuse in the church, and he not only knew about them, he also helped in the cover-up. These cases are said to have happened right under his eye in the 1960s and 70s when he was the archbishop. The report talks about three priests who sexually abused children. And the Pope, instead of taking action, just transferred them to other churches. Why did he do this? Apparently to save the reputation of the church. Clearly saving pedophiles dressed as priests was more important than saving children. And this is just the latest such revelation about the Catholic Church. Our next report tells you more. The Catholic Church and its dark secrets have made headlines once again. At the forefront of the latest revelation is this man, the late John Paul II. He was the Pope, the head of the Catholic Church. A new report casts a shadow on his legacy. It says he was aware of cases of child abuse in his church. Instances where priests reportedly sexually assaulted children behind closed doors. He knew about this, but did not take action. The incidents date back to the 1960s and 70s when he was an archbishop in Poland. The Polish media is reporting this. They cite documents from the country's secret services. The reports mention three priests who allegedly committed these acts. Eugenius Sergeant, Joseph Lorank, and Boleslaw Sadus. The number of victims, however, remains unclear. Witnesses say that John Paul II was even told in person about the acts of pedophilia. Apparently, a priest reported these cases in 1973. Despite being in the know, John Paul II didn't take any action against the priests. The reason? He is said to have been worried about the fallout and the damage it would cause to the church's reputation. So instead of taking action, he decided to transfer the priests. John Paul II wrote to the Archbishop of Vienna. He recommended Sardis to his care and he was packed off to Austria. What he did not mention was that Sardis had abused young boys in Poland. Turned out that he demoralized many young boys whom he used for sexual matters. It was written in the file of the security service about the priest. There was awareness that these are serious crimes. Reports of these misdoings sent shockwaves. The other two priests went on to admit their crimes much later and were convicted. They were sentenced to three years in jail only to have their sentences cut short. The Catholic Church in Poland is a pivotal institution in the country, but its reputation has taken a huge hit in recent years thanks to such scandals. Between January 1990 and June 2018, 382 cases of pedophilia were reported. Between 2018 to 2020, Another 368 cases were reported. 186 of them are still under investigation. 38 have been rejected. As for the late John Paul II, this isn't the first skeleton tumbling out of his closet. In the late 1990s, he appointed former Cardinal Theodore McCarrick as the Archbishop of Washington. This was despite being made aware of allegations against him. McCarrick is said to have been charged with pedophilia for abusing his nephews. A report also accused him of having shared a bed with multiple men. The Vatican broke its silence in 2019 and promised action. I renew my closeness to the victims of every abuse and the Church's commitment to eradicate this evil. A string of such cases in the Church saw Polish leaders come under pressure. In 2019, Warsaw raised the sentence for child abuse by up to 30 years. But there's nothing to show that the measures have worked. That's because the church tends to brush cases under the carpet. It doesn't reveal details that hurt its reputation. John Paul II served as the Pope for 25 years. He passed away in 2005 and was canonized as a saint. There's no scope for punishment. The only hope is that these reports will give courage to more victims to speak up. And the church, struggling to save its reputation, may be forced to clean up its act.